Hello, I'm Dr. April Armstrong. I'm Professor of Dermatology and Associate Dean for Clinical Research from the University of Southern California. Today, I talked about why and when to use IL-23 inhibitors for psoriasis. We know that there are a number of IL-23 inhibitors available for psoriasis, including todrakizumab, gaselkumab, rizinkizumab, and as well as ustekinumab, which is a both an IL-12 and IL-23 inhibitor. I spoke about the long-term sustainability of IL-23 inhibitors as a class. And specifically, for example, we have five-year data uh, for many of the IL-23 inhibitors. For example, we know that for gaselkumab and as well as rizinkizumab, when we look at the five-year data, we see that um, around 85% of the patients maintain their POSI-90 response and over half of the patients maintain their POSI-100 response which really speaks to the long-term sustainability in terms of efficacy for these medications. In addition to that, there's also new data from gaselkumab showing that patients who are what we consider super responders, essentially those who maintain POSI 100 response for a while, you can actually potentially lengthen the time in between the injections. So for example, from every eight weeks to every 16 weeks, and you can maintain the response in those super responders. Another aspect that I talked about is the safety of IL-23 inhibitors. And the good news on that is that they continue to be quite safe. Specifically, there's a new study that looked at patients who tested positive for latent TB, and they were started also at the same time for IL-23 inhibitors. And what they found is that in this study, they look at, looked at gaselkumab, and they found that of the 122 patients who are started on gaselkumab, who were latent TB positive, actually none of them developed active TB over five years period of time. As you can see, there are many good reasons to use IL-23 inhibitors to treat plaque psoriasis. And one additional reason is that a number of them are also approved for psoriatic arthritis, including gaselkumab, rizinkizumab, as well as ustekinumab. And then finally, we know that for IL-23 inhibitors, few injections are needed. So essentially patients uh, can take these injections either six times a year or four times a year, which really speaks to the convenience of these medications. Hi, I'm Erin Bo. Today, April Armstrong and I spoke about the IL-17 and IL-23 inhibitors, why and when to use each of them. I spoke on the IL-17s. Why should we use them? One, they're very fast, efficacious, rapid onset, so people who need psoriasis cleared quickly, that's the way to go. It is also durable, though, in its response. So it's fast, it's efficacious, it's durable in its response, so people maintain their response once they're clear. They're covered for a broad spectrum of comorbidities, including psoriatic arthritis, and also in the pediatric population. So why use them? Fast, reliable, durable in their response, and they work really well and are very useful for treating patients with psoriasis.